Now let us discuss about data types in JavaScript. JavaScript is a dynamically typed language, which means that data types are determined at runtime based upon the type of value that is assigned to a variable. In JavaScript, we declare the variables with the help of var keyword. So let the statement is var a is equal to 2. Here 2 is assigned to the variable. So a will becomes number data type. So why JavaScript is called as dynamically typed language? Why? Because depends upon the value which is assigned to the variable. The variable will obtain the data type. Here 2 is assigned to A, so A will become num number data type. If you take this example, here a string is assigned to a variable, so A will become what? String. So that's why JavaScript is called as dynamically typed language. So at the runtime, depends upon the value which is assigned to the variable, the variable will get the data type. In JavaScript, data types are classified into two types. First one is primitive data types. Primitive data types are number, string, boolean, null, undefined. Whereas the second one is, second one is object data type. Object data type can also be called as reference data type. Okay. Uh, object data types are arrays, functions, dates and objects. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, primitive data types as well as object data types in detail. First, let us see the first two primitive data type. Primitive data types are built-in data types, basic data type. So already these data types are already defined. So let us see about number. So number means uh, a numeric value. It may be either integer or floating point number. Okay. Let's take an example where a is equal to 2. So 2 is assigned to a. So a will become in number data type. Okay. So let's see with the help of an example, where a is equal to 10, where a is equal to 10, so 10 is assigned to the a. Now let us display the data type of the a. So data type of the a is, in order to know the type of the data type, we use a keyword called type of. Type of, here I want to know about the a data type. So use a, so control s. So let us run the program. So what is the data type of A here? What is the data type of A? So we got data type of A as yes. data type of A as yes. integer data type of A as yes. what? Number. Okay. So let us uh, assign a floating point number here. Let the number is var A is equal to 3.14. Okay. Let us display in some headers so that it will be displayed in uh, bold font style h1 is equal to use a concatenation operator close the header tag close the header tag now let us run the program so so there is some mistake uh, here uh, for the double quotations we need to close the double quotation so data type of a is number whether it is a integer variable or floating point variable, the corresponding variable will become what? Uh, number data type. Now let us see about the second data type, second primitive data type, string. We know what is a string. String means a collection of characters. The characters may be either alphabets or digits or symbols. Enclosed in quotations. We may use either double quotations or single quotations. So let us see an example where a is equal to within the double quotation high. Now A will become what? A will become string. So let's see with the help of an example. Let's see with the help of an example. So control C. Control V. So where? So let name of the variable is name. So where name is equal to? Here string means collection of characters. So we may use either characters or symbols or numbers also. There is no problem. Okay. Next, data type of, what is the data type of, what is the name of the variable name? So, data type of name is plus type of name. 
so let us run the program now so data type of name is we got output as string now let us see the next basic data type that is boolean so boolean means it is a logical value it may be either true or false okay in true all are lower case letters only in false all all are lower case letters only whereas if you take python in python in true t is upper case letter in false f is upper case letter whereas in javascript all are lower case letters only let's see an example here where a is equal to true so now a will become what boolean data type so let's see with the help of an example so where let name of the variable is b b is equal to true b is equal to true we can assign either true or false it is our choice okay where b is equal to true data type of b is plus type of b so control s so let us run the program so what is the data type of b here we got output as yes, boolean boolean so boolean means we need to assign either true or false suppose if we enclose true within the double quotation then what will happen if we enclose the data within the quotation then it will becomes a string now data type of the b will become what string okay so we should not use double quotations we should not use quotations if we use quotations then it will becomes what a string okay now let us see the next basic data type uh, next one is null null means a null or empty value so null means that variable has no value we can decide the value of that variable later so example where a is equal to none so now it specifies that a has no value we can uh, we can assign the value later yes, later in the program okay so let's see with the help of an example so where let name of the variable is c where c is equal to null so null means that variable has no value so data type of c is data type of c is plus type of c now let us run the program let us run the program so we got output as yes, data type of c is what object so null means it will be displayed as yes, object it will comes under object only so data type of c is object here object means it is a null data type okay now let us see about the next one undefined undefined means uh, it represents a variable a variable that has been declared but it has not been assigned a value let's take an example where a here a a is declared but a is not initialized if we try to access a then a will becomes undefined data type so let's see with the help of an example let's see with the help of an example so where let name of the variable is d d so data type of here d is declared but it is not initialized but it is not initialized so the data type of the d will become what undefined undefined so let's see here data type of d is undefined so this is about primitive data types built in data types so primitive data types are number string boolean null and undefined now let us see about uh, uh, object data types can also be called as reference data types it represents complex data types such as such as objects such as arrays functions dates and objects so arrays functions dates and objects comes under object data type so now let us see an example program for this so what is the first one array so let us see about uh, 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 reference data types or object data types so where a is equal to where a is equal to here uh, in order to assign the values uh, in javascript we have to use square brackets so document dot h uh, data type of a is plus type of a here name of the array is what a only so now let us see what is the output here what is the data type of the a data type of a let us see the output so we got output as yes, data type of a is object so here object means array object means array next uh, what is the next data type function function now let us see let us declare a function in javascript a function is defined with the help of a keyword called function let name of the function is my fun 
my fun this is the name of the function so parenthesis here we are not defining any body so use curly braces okay so now let us display the data type of the function so control c so data type of function my fun is my fun is so let us display my fun here there is no need of any parenthesis okay now let us see here what is the output if you observe here here the output is data type of my fun is what function okay now let us see how to uh, use the date here date here so where a is equal to here uh, in order to create a date we use this date object so new date now let us display the data type of uh, a data type of let here name of the variable is b so data type of b is b is type of b type of b so let us see the output here let us see the output here data type of b is object okay so here this object means it is of type it is of type what date date now let us see the last one the last one is what object so in order to provide values to the object here uh, let us see about uh, let us declare uh, it as mocks where mocks is equal to here object means collection of name value pair so let the first name is ramesh let the ramesh mocks is 90 name value so ramesh value is 90 so let the second name is suresh suresh let the value is 50 50 now let us uh, display the output document dot title in data type of mocks is data type of mocks is so type of mocks type of mocks so let us uh, uh, see the output here so data type of mocks is object so this is about uh, primitive data types and uh, object data types in java 